I want to talk about a reason why you should pray and fast. I'm not going to talk about all the reasons, but a reason. Okay, let's go to Mark chapter 9, verses 17 through 29, I believe. I think so. I want to keep things into context, so just follow me. All right. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. So, there is someone's son has a demon in them. Okay, 18. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. So this is talking about his son is acting really crazy, and he asked the disciples to cast out the demons out of him, out of his son, but they couldn't. 19. And he answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Suffer you? Bring him unto me. So Jesus is telling them to bring that demon-possessed son to him. 20. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. So when that demonic son came in the presence of Jesus Christ, it started to act crazy and fell on the ground. 21. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. So this is saying, Jesus asked him, How long did this person or your son have this demonic spirit? And the father said, Since he was a child. 22. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. So the father is saying that the demon tried to kill him, tried to throw him in the fire and in the water to destroy him. Okay, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Wow, this is powerful. This is so powerful. If you guys have a pen and paper, write down Mark chapter 9, verse 23. This is powerful. 24. And straightway the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said, So the son is telling Jesus that he believes. I believe, help thou mine unbelief. So he is asking Jesus to help his unbelief. 25. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked 
the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more. This is the authority that we have as well when we follow Jesus Christ. When we are following his rules and regulations, we carry this same authority as well. The same authority, guys. Man, very powerful. So what Jesus did, he told the demon by words, get out of him now. That's what we can do as well. If you have repented of your sins, you carry the same authority. If there are demons in you or messing around in other people, command those demons to leave them right now. Verse 26. I'm getting all excited. Okay, 26. And the spirit cried and rent him sore. And came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said he is dead. So they thought he died when those demons came out of him. Or demon. It says spirit. So I guess one demon. Maybe more. Okay, 27. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. 28. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not, why could not we cast him out? So the disciples was asking Jesus, why couldn't we cast him out when you were able to? 29. And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So this is one of the reasons why you should pray and fast. Maybe you have demons within you. And you want those demons out of you. What you should do is pray and fast. Maybe you have people that you know that have demons within them and you want to cast out those demons within them. You, maybe you have to pray and fast to cast those demons out of those people. This is one of the reasons why you should pray and fast. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Very powerful stuff here. Prayer and fasting is very powerful tools. So keep this in mind. And when I say fast, some people believe that you can eat certain things, blah, blah, blah. But when it talks about fasting, it talks about no drinking or eating. No drinking or eating. That is a true fast does God accept other fast I don't know but no eating or drinking so keep this in mind God bless